morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Lindsay Davis. We have a lot to get to new flooding concerns in Kentucky and the passing of an American icon, the legendary Bill Russell. But we do begin tonight with the explosive wildfire spreading in Northern California. The McKinney fire has only been burning for two days, but it's already scorched more than 51,000 acres and it's spreading fast. The fire is now 0% contained, fueled by the extreme drought, and it's burning in an area where they have not been any recent fires. Roughly 2,000 residents have been evacuated. Several homes have already been destroyed. Authorities rescued dozens of hikers from the area. They were not in immediate danger, but officials felt that they had to act because of the fire's rapid spread. ABC's Alex Brashe leads us off tonight from California. Tonight, firefighters battling explosive flames along the California-Oregon border. The McKinney fire scorching more than 51,000 acres, 0% contained. Flames devouring hillsides, spilling over roads. Jackson County Search and Rescue guiding at least 60 to safety from the Pacific Crest Trail. Catherine Dibdahl says what started out as a normal day ended with her taking this photo as she and a van full of hikers rushed to safety. All of a sudden we started smelling smoke and we looked over and there was a huge plume. One officer saying visibility was down to just 20 feet. It was pretty scary uh, driving through the fire. You could see uh, on the Highway 5, the interstate, um, basically pitch black. Looked like midnight when it was, you know, sunset. The flames roared back to life overnight, destroying at least 100 structures, including several homes. Oh my God, look at that burn. Tor Mason took this video Friday as he desperately searched for friends. Just terrible. I mean, he had, he had minutes to get out of there before the fire just engulfed us. He'd later learn his home burned to the ground. That same fire now threatening 400 structures in the Klamath River community. The fire was in your face. I actually got burned, you know, a little bit in my face. And uh, it was it was so intense. I was scared. The unpredictability sparking so much fear. Alex Perche joins us tonight. And Alex, this is typically the dry season for California, but forecasters are now warning of potentially dangerous conditions ahead for the firefighters. That's right, Lindsay. Fueled by wind and dry brush, a red flag warning remains in effect. Firefighters also worried about the possibility for dry lightning. Lindsay. 